What's up, it's your boy JT Adamates back with another video. Hey, you guys, appreciate all your love and support. This channel will be nothing without people just like you that continuously come and support the channel. If this is your first video here, please understand that the whole concept of this channel, the whole reason why I do this is to motivate, educate, and inspire you to do something entrepreneurial. I want you to understand if you keep God first, everything else that you want in life, you can achieve, right? Let's talk side hustles. Since this is a financial literacy channel, let's talk side hustles. In today's video, we're going to go over 16 side hustles that you could take advantage of that really nobody is talking about. This is another reaction video. At the end of this video, what I need you to do is go down to that comment section and subscribe to this excellent content creator. Be sure to let them know JT sent you. The whole goal of these reactions are to expose you to as many different people that can help you reach your financial goals as possible, right? So without further ado, let's talk about it. There's money to be made everywhere, especially in a recession. All you need to know is where to look. Here are 18 businesses slash side hustles who start in a recession. For each one, I'll rate the difficulty from one to three magic lamps, three being most difficult. I'll tell you what they are and the best way to start them. First business, one magic lamp difficulty. This guy made $200,000 in 2022 with it, and it's really an untapped market. Selling premium Notion templates and tools. Think of Notion as a combined Google Drive, Jira, Trello, and Evernote on steroids. Basically, Notion lets you build out custom templates and workspaces like a content calendar, progress tracker, budget management tool, and more, which you can then sell. Some hey, the first one, I ain't gonna lie. I'm already lost. Anybody out there use Notion? Hey, shoot, I need to find me a paper, pen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Let's keep it going. Some for just a couple of bucks and others can go for over a hundred dollars. It's relatively easy to build out these templates and there are a ton of free resources online to learn how. But the easiest way to Ocean start is to check out existing templates that you find helpful on these sites. Download them and break them apart to learn how all the pieces fit together. But one of the hardest things about this is actually coming up with a template idea that people actually want to buy. The trick is to create something valuable that will save people time or effort and the best- Hey, I wonder if- Chat GPT can make this easier for us. If you know, you know. The way to do that is to look towards your own life and solve a problem that you struggle with. Like, do you wish you had a better way to manage your work documents or your homework or be able to budget your money better? Simply build something to solve your own problems and then you can sell that solution on websites like Gumroad, Etsy, or your own blog. The second business is One Magic Lamp and there's so much opportunity in this space because it's relatively new and it's called content recycling. And it's not what you think. When people usually talk about this, they just mean taking a long form video, cutting it up and turning them into shorter videos. But there's actually a whole other side to this entire thing. Beyond the typical TikToks, IG Reels and YouTube Shorts, there's so much potential in the space for Twitter threads, LinkedIn posts, podcasts, blogs, and any other form of social media. I actually met a guy in November who was making thousands every single month from turning blog posts into LinkedIn posts. To start, reach out to content creators and businesses on any social platform and offer to repurpose their platform content like a YouTube video to a TikTok video or a blog post to a Twitter thread or a Twitter thread to a LinkedIn. But when you do your outreach, you need to be able to stand out because there are a ton of people pitching the exact same thing. I'm about to tell you how easy or a easy way to do this, right? We early on in the video, but some people already jumped off. So this is a play for people that watched it this long and you ain't even had to watch it. You know, usually I was usually we drop the biggest nuggets at the end of the video so just so you all know if you've never watched the entire video or if you don't watch the entire video for all of my videos i usually save the biggest nuggets to the end i'm gonna be nice now and give you these nuggets right here and we probably will drop even some bigger ones at the end so Descript is a service you can use that will transcribe the video in the text. So if you need it for Twitter, LinkedIn, if you need that video to be in text form and you don't want to just be listening to the video and type it all out yourself, use Descript. If you're trying to chop up a long video on the smaller videos, I use GetMunch, GetMunch.com, right? These two tools, all right, will allow you to transcribe videos in the text now you got that blog post linkedin post twitter post that you're selling people for right and somebody is gonna think that you did all of this editing to chop up all of their long form videos into short videos but get much is gonna use ai to chop it up give you guys subtitles on it right it's even gonna give you a caption 
And then you can leverage tools like I use Buffer so that way you can automatically schedule it for them. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, put some fire emojis in the chat, right? I usually be saving these to the end, but I'm in a good mood today. Put some fire emojis in the chat for your boy or in the comment section. Let's keep it going. All right, let, let, let's keep it going. As someone who receives a ton of emails from people offering to do this for me, honestly, they all sound the same. The trick to differentiate yourself is to just do it already. Instead of telling me that you can cut up my videos for me, just do it. In your first email outreach, you should already send me a shortened video of mine so I can immediately see the video output and your skills. The third business is to match. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go into that, right? He gave some game. This guy dropping bombs. Yes, you should just do it. This is a mistake, and I'm not going to call anybody's name out. You know who you are if you did it. When you do the work, actually do the work as if they paid you to do the work. What I mean by that is that if you're going to make a thumbnail or edit something or create something for somebody, edit a clip for them from one of their videos, whatever it is you're going to do, treat it like they already paid you top dollar for it. If you're trying to create something for somebody, and you're using stock, generic, low quality, like if it looks like this is the free stuff, right? Guess what the person on the other end is going to say? Ah, oh, man, it's low quality. Well, I'm going to pay my money to somebody that's not even that good, right? That's what the perception is. We're going to believe you're not that good at it, all right? And you might just be saying, hey, man, well, this is just some free work. I'm going to go light. I'm going to just do a little something light for them just to show them I could razzle dazzle. Nah, because from the other side, I want you to realize that if you do just something light, it look like you're not that good and we don't want to deal with you. You probably will be more of a headache than you are an asset to the team. So if you're going to do it, because the best way to get the opportunity is just do the work. But if you're going to do it, do it like you got paid top dollar to do it and that will up your chances. Because a lot of people are going to do it the cheap way, the free way, and we're going to say, nah, it look like you just be a headache. I'm going to just avoid it. Now is actually the best time to start because there's a huge gap in the space and it's starting a very specific type of YouTube channel, one that's focused on educational content. On my first year on YouTube with educational content. Oh, yo, let me beat on my chest a little bit. Yeah, we in there. All right, <laughs> let's keep it going. I made over $500,000 and by my second year I quit my full-time job and I practically reached financial freedom What's awesome is people, people don't even be believing what kind of bread is on YouTube, right? I have over 1400 videos on this YouTube channel. I buy houses cash Not fixer-uppers move-in ready houses cash like just think about how much would it cost to buy five move-in ready houses cash wherever you live and understand that YouTube will pay you more than enough money to do that if you do it the right way. And I got a whole mentorship program talking about that as well. And if you heard that background noise, that's my uncle, right? But let's just keep going. Is if you have any hobbies or knowledge, whether it's about baking, sales, health, fitness, technology, or anything you believe will help and serve your community, you can use YouTube to turn it into an income generating machine. You see, when I first started my channel, I made a ton of mistakes. There were so many things that I wish I knew from the start that would make it easier to grow and make money from the very beginning. Which is why I created a 100% free Facebook group, Creator Business Accelerator, focused on helping other education channels. In that group, I'll share my secret growth strategies, host live Q&A group calls, monetization strategies, and more, with the goal to grow your educational YouTube you channel definitely and join turn that it into an income generating machine. I'm about it's 100% free to join, link is down below. The fourth business is Two Magic Lamps, and it's starting a very specific type of digital agency, which is actually a lot more simple than the name implies. I'll show you the best way to break into this field without any experience. An agency just means you're selling some type of service to another party, but you want to focus on the digital marketing space, and I'll tell you why in a minute. What you want to do first is just start your digital agency by offering just one type of digital service, whether that's SEO, PPC, branding, growth marketing, content Thanks. marketing, and there's a bunch more here. Find one service that you're really interested in learning about and then deep dive into it. First, build a portfolio by doing the work for free for just one to three people on Reddit. Afterwards, you need to build a website to attract more customers and be able to show off your portfolio. 
And I can't emphasize enough how important having a great looking business website is. Because trust me, it's gonna make you stand out from the competition. But I have to admit, before I made any websites, I did a ton of research on where I should host and build them, and I couldn't find any platform that I liked. Everything was either too slow, overly complex, or way too expensive. That is, until I kept seeing the name Hostinger rank number one on a bunch of web hosting review sites. So I went on Hostinger, who's sponsoring this video, and I found it has everything I need to create a site all in one place. Obviously, I then checked out their prices, and I was shocked. Only $2.79 bucks a month for their premium web hosting plan, which is super affordable. And it comes with a bunch of freebies, free email, free domain name, unlimited bandwidth, and more. I chose the 48 month plan because it has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you ever change your mind, there is practically no risk and you can get your money back. And the renewal price for the 48 month plan is the lowest. At this point, I thought it was gonna take a long time to build out the actual site, but Hostinger's dedicated 24 seven customer service and tutorials made it super easy. I built the site on WordPress, which has a bunch of free themes and plugins so I could customize the site how I like without needing to learn how to code. And now I have this, my consultancy business with my portfolio. It was super easy and quick to make. Look, I gotta emphasize That's just how important it is to have have your own professional looking website for your business it really makes you stand out and it costs less than three bucks a month on definitely definitely all right so that's a huge gym you should definitely have a website for your business we have a small agency as well that is already doing pretty well to say that is so small we also do mentorship for anybody that wants to learn how to turn their social media into a six-figure plus business as well and I'm not saying that as an advertisement. I just want you all to understand that what I'm about to say is from experience. Even though sites out there, not just hosting her, because that's a great service. Check it out. I'm going to look into it. Me and my team going to look into it. We're probably going to jump into it, too, if you know what I mean, if everything checks out. I'm big on, though, owning your domains somewhere else. Right. What I mean by this is that in not even saying that they're like this, what I'm saying is do your due diligence to make sure they're not like this. If that makes sense, y'all let me know. So here's the play. I don't want to get a free domain name with my hosting service. And then if and when I ever decide to go somewhere else, find out that this hosting service owns the domain, not me. So I tell them I want such and such dot com. They go purchase such and such dot com. I build a business. I make millions, billions, trillions of dollars, right? I wish you all the best in business. But then I say, you know what? I want to switch to this place, all right? Will they allow me to transfer my domain name? Because if I built so much equity underneath that name, I don't want to have to worry about I can't leave here because they own the name, not me. And I'm not saying that they're like that. What I am saying is research to make sure that they're not like that. All right. If they are like that, then go somewhere like jhfhosting.com, get your domain name. Now you got it. You pay for it separately. So now if you ever want to go somewhere else, you got it. All right. Let's keep it going. On top of that, Hostinger is giving my viewers, you, an additional 10% discount on top of their ongoing offers. Ooh. Just go to Hostinger.com slash Vincent Chan and use code Vincent Chan. I'm check definitely going to check Thanks them out. Thanks again to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. You guys let me know what you use website, for hosting. Here's a second way to really stand out. Offer value for free up front. So if you decide to start with a Got to. service, offer potential clients a free... Hey, if you just starting out and you don't already have like a portfolio, whatever, whatever, this is a non-negotiable. All right, this is a non-negotiable pretty much. PPC audit to show them where they're wasting money and how you'll come in to improve their performance. After you master this PPC service and have a good amount of reoccurring customers, go back to the list of services that I mentioned earlier and pick the next one that you're interested in learning. Deep dive into this and then upsell this new service to your existing clients and expand your agency. And the cool thing is it'll be super easy to upsell because all these digital marketing services are intertwined. So if you make a good first impression, chances are they'll pick up another service that you're selling. Fifth is one magic lamp, real life arbitrage. And you don't need any money to start. Here's why. During recession, people unfortunately lose their jobs, which leads to two things. One, people will sell their old things in garage sales for cheap for extra money. And two, people move to smaller places and will need to get rid of their stuff and some will give it away for free on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Where you come in is you're taking these items and selling them for a profit online. Check out these websites or visit local garage sales to get them. But before you actually buy the stuff, 
Here's how to tell if it's gonna be profitable. Go to Camel 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 or any other price trackers and check that item's price history and see if the item has high price fluctuation, which could mean that you would have a higher profit margin opportunity when you sell it. And that's what I'm doing with these race cars. I bought about 20 of these for three bucks at a garage sale a couple months back, and they actually go for 10, 15, even 20 bucks each online. Sixth is One Magic Lamp, and it's one of those uncommon jobs that's really easy to learn and is very profitable. In fact, the average salary is over $70,000, and all you need is a computer with internet. Copywriting. And copywriting is essentially writing with the goal of persuading the reader to buy something. Here's an example. This is the Apple homepage, and it currently says Pro Beyond. Compare this to a text that says, it's a good phone. Which one are you more likely to buy? And that's the copywriter's whole job. And you don't need to be a good writer either when you first start. You can learn how to do this 100% free on these websites or on these books. And if you have a good understanding of copywriting, take on some free projects from Reddit to build out your portfolio. And then similar to before, create a business website and host your portfolio so you can start marketing yourself and attracting more clients. Seventh is three magic lamps. And if I could go back in time, instead of working in finance, I would have done this because the amount of money you can make is just ridiculous. And this is- Hold on, wait. Are you on social media because you're looking for a way to make more money in a consistent way so that you can better your personal economy or create or scale your generational wealth? Well, guess what? You're on the right channel. I want to invite you out to my Foundational Wealth Conference. There, I'm going to give you the proven strategy to make money in business to make money in stock investing, and to make money in real estate investing. I'm bringing all of my friends together that make six and seven figures a year doing this, and I wanna teach you how to do the same. Link is in the description down below if you wanna take advantage of that. High ticket sales basically being able to sell premium products and services and getting a sales commission. So if the product you help sell call This create millionaires every single year? Sure, some people, like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna let them say it, but what I'll tell you is that I know people personally that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month learning this skill, adding this value to the people that want this sort of service. Believe it or not, there are no shortage of people out there that have money, right? You personally may disagree, but if you target the right people with the right value, either through the power of cash or credit, if you solve a big enough problem, there are people that will happily pay you for that, right? cost $15,000 and you get a 20% commission that you make $3,000 from just one sale. And the beauty of working in high ticket sales is you can work for whomever you want, wherever you want, and you actually don't need to create the product yourself. To start, you need to understand the fundamentals of sales and practice it. The best athletes in history didn't become great because of some unique talent. They became the best because they put in the work, mastering the fundamentals and obsessing over them. And finding work is gonna be the easy part. There's a ton of creators and businesses online that have amazing courses, mastermind, coaching businesses, and more. But a lot of these creators are focused on creating and improving their product. So that All right, and if you're somebody out there that wants to get commissions off of high ticket sales, um, reach out to me, right? It's better to reach out to me via Instagram, right? It's, it's 120 some thousand people there. It's almost 300,000 people there here. So while there's still a decent amount of people over there, hit me up on Instagram, JT Hustles, in the DMs. Make sure it's the account that has over 100,000 followers. All right, and you're most likely to get a response. We don't have too much time. We got a spot for you, right? And why I say we, I know a whole lot of people, maybe not me per se, but hey, maybe in the future, but I know a whole lot of people that hire commission-based salespeople, meaning, hey, listen, this is the value that we have. Go sell it. We'll give you this percentage every time you sell it by whatever means you want to sell it. You want to do paid ads, right? However you want to do it, you do it. Time to focus on sales with potential clients, and that's where you come in. Reach out to these creators and businesses to work as a remote high ticket sales closer for commission. Chances are the creator probably won't mind bringing you on because you don't get paid unless you actually close a sale. After you get more practice and develop your own sales style, you can start a business where you train others to do high ticket sales and run the entire operation from there. Before I get into the next couple of ideas, I asked on Instagram what side hustles or businesses are you currently working on? And here's a couple that I really wanna highlight. First, starting a really niche blog about sledding equipment and then doing affiliate marketing from there. Two, dog sitting and then working on other side hustles at the person's house. Three, babysitting 
changing and doing the same thing earlier. Four, going around the neighborhood and asking if people want their cars washed. And five, giving private exclusive tours of your entire city. Next is two magic lamps. And I wish somebody hit me up about washing my car, shoot. And it's selling very niche things on Etsy, a marketplace focused on digital or physical artsy stuff. And the top merchants on this site are making millions each month. This is monthly sales and their average product is 20 bucks. The trick is to sell things around your area of interest. Do you like making art? You can sell posters or pins. Do you like productivity? You can sell journals or calendars. The reason is because it's way easier if you're actually interested in the niche and category because you can then understand your target audience and the marketing lingo to reach them because you are your target audience. For inspiration, check out this site and look across categories to find trendy products and see what you can incorporate into your niche. There are a ton of poorly made listings on Etsy, so you can very quickly stand out from the rest by taking some fantastic photos, optimizing your titles, and making your description super detailed. Next is two magic lamps, and all you really need is to live in an apartment or a house, and it's renting out your extra space to store other people's stuff. Do you remember what I said earlier about recessions and the outcome of that? During recession, people unfortunately lose their jobs, people move to smaller places and will need to get rid of their stuff, and some will give it away for free on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Well, couple this with millennials being priced out of owning a home and baby boomers downsizing their houses, there are many people looking to store their extra stuff. To start, list out your extra space on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and charge a monthly retainer basis per item. And you can they also got apps that do this like as well. pickup, delivery service, or even helping them pack. If there isn't enough space in your home, then get a friend on board. Offer to pay them some money to store stuff in their basement, garage, or whatever. Eventually, you can expand and buy actual storage space to take on more clients. Next is One Magic Lamp, and it's not really a business, just a really smart way to make money in the long term. Investing, and I know, I know, the market's not doing too hot, but here's why it's actually the best time to start. Based on the data, at the end of every recession comes a raging bull market when the economy goes back to normal. And right now, the mindset to have is that stocks are on sale, so the trick is to just buy and hold for the long term if it fits your investing goals. And you can keep up with financial and investing news for free with my free newsletter, Daily Market Briefs, link down below. The next business is One Magic Lamp and it's creating on demand with a twist. You see, the problem with traditional online stores is you really need three things to start. One, an audience to sell to, two, a place to store inventory, and three, some type of shipping infrastructure. But with this business, you don't need any of that. All you need are two free websites. First is Etsy, a marketplace to sell your items, and two, any print-on-demand website like these. How these two sites fit together is one, you will design your product on the print on demand website, but it won't actually create or ship the product until someone actually places the order via Etsy. And the cool thing is on Etsy, anyone can discover and buy your product. So to start, no. create some cool looking designs that you think people wanna buy. And then you wanna pick the products that you want to put the actual design on, on the print on demand website. Like a hoodie, some phone cases, socks, mugs, bottles, any phone case website is offers. Hard. Then you go and create a listing on Etsy to sell your product. And here's how the magic flows. First, someone discovers your product on Etsy and they buy your product and send you their shipping details. You then go on the print on demand website and place an order for the product. The print on demand website then creates it and ships it to your buyer. Super easy. But before you actually start any of these businesses, it's important to learn how to actually make. Should we do that last one? Y'all let me know. All right, majority rules. So compared to the number of views that this video gets to the amount of people that say we should, that'll make the final call. But should we do that? Etsy business, hmm? if it's interesting to y'all, to enough of y'all, we might go for it. Retain and grow your money. Otherwise, you're just gonna lose everything. These are the six habits that I needed to stop doing in order to make my first million dollars. Check it out. All right, so. That is a separate video. I'm going to let you guys go subscribe to his channel and check that out over there. He dropped some bangers. He dropped some bangers in that, right? If you guys got value out of this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, smash that like button. Share this video with anybody who can get help. This channel, again, is always here to motivate, educate, and inspire you. That if you keep God first, everything else is possible. We're going to hit all of your financial goals. Till next time, so much. Let's stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.